Right, so good morning, everybody. It's uh, Mark Jones here from Club 365. And today I'm joined by Helen, who you saw yesterday. And also, some of you might not see this person very often, but this is Hugo, and he's my business partner. And Hugo is the technical brain behind everything we do at Club 365. So do you just want to say hi and tell people about yourself, Hugo? Hi, everyone. Yeah, like Mark said, I'm the guy normally behind the scenes, making sure that these things get delivered to you on time and with good quality. Uh, we've been doing this for, God knows now, six years now, and uh, it's been quite challenging so far. But fingers crossed, things are going well, and you guys are enjoying yourselves and enjoying the experience that we're giving you. So uh, let's keep up that way. So, yeah, thank you. So how did everybody find yesterday then? Did you enjoy it, Helen? Oh, yeah, it was brilliant. Uh, my uh, absolute hero of yesterday, though, was Heather Ziegley. She would had so many problems trying to get uh, the session recording done. Um, computers blowing up, emergencies at work, you name it. It kind of seemed to all get thrown at poor Heather over the last month or so. So she struggled to get it in. But we finally got the session from her about 10 o'clock yesterday morning before it went live for us later in the afternoon. So we, we got there in the end. And I just cannot thank Heather enough for persevering and getting us at the session which ended up being absolutely brilliant because it was the most perfect introduction to planner and it led on so very very nicely to alan Erdley's final session of the day uh, which went into planner in more depth so it, it couldn't have worked better but at, at one point i really was biting my nails yeah and I, I really enjoyed that session as well because obviously for the for those that don't know we use trello quite heavily at, uh, at clavaris and i'm thinking now that planner is actually really grown up and as good as trello so i think we should probably as a team think about moving over to planner because there's a lot of good stuff there's a lot like alan showed the integration with uh to do and how that can all be aggregated down from planner so i like the idea of have one consolidated task list for me that can get aggregated down and so i think we should look at that as a team so my yeah, i love the i love the integration with 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 outlook and all the different projects because one of the problems we normally have is we have all the different projects and we have tasks and all the different projects and then this gives us a unified view of actually seeing what's assigned to each one of us, especially for the global con, um, um, conferences, which there's so many tasks assigned, assigned to each one of us. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's been really, really, really good to learn all of that. Yes, it's because we don't have to, because we're so busy, we don't have to get back to sit and watch the sessions. And I think a few of us sat back and watched Heather and uh, Alan's session yesterday, which was cool. So I think my highlight yesterday was uh, Mark Stokes, because uh, I asked Mark about two months ago if he'd do a, a good headline session, which showed off all of the Power Platform, Microsoft Forms, Power Agent, SharePoint and Teams. And he did the most incredible session. In fact, he built a whole COVID-19 uh, response solution inside of all of the Microsoft 365 tech. And he did it in such a cool way. So effectively, it took him a day to build. And what he did is recorded every step of the build. And then he fast forwarded it. And then he's got this beautiful shot of him standing on front of the screen with the video playing behind. And he just talks through how to build it. And I wasn't sure how people were going to take to that. But the response was amazing. Everybody really appreciated it. Because in that one, oh, I think it's about 55 minutes, that 55 minutes, Mark showed, showcased the possible of what you can do with this uh, incredible stat that we've all got nowadays. So really pleased that Mark got a great response and it was delivered beautifully. The other highlight of mine is probably going to be Hugo. So I'll let you talk about that, Hugo. <laughs> yeah, that will be the MAA session, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, so we've been uh, we've been sort of um, trying uh, to come up with a solution that to make them, uh, our life and our speaker's life a lot easier for this MAA session. So before we used to require one of them, one of the speakers to actually be doing the streaming from the from where they were talking. Uh, and it was quite a lot of fat for them, quite a lot of hassle. And uh, we didn't th I, I didn't thought that there was there was really fair. So we've been trying to find a good way to actually uh, for them to just show up and everything is sorted for them. They literally just need to start talking and that's it. We call it so just um, just drop in and, and, and play really. Um, so, uh, and that's what we tried yesterday. We did, um, there was a first session that we tried doing the streaming and everything managed from, from, from our own platform. We actually used um, a service called Jitsi. Probably some of you uh, are going to be familiar with it. There's still a few rough edges that I want to, and I, I, I want to be able to, to iron out, like the resolution when we're looking at the tile view. But I think that's obviously there's work in progress and hopefully you guys enjoy the session as well. One of the good things that I've um, 
that uh, for me was absolutely fantastic. It allowed Ben, for instance, from uh, to to actually connect and then to talk to us from his mountain retreat. And he could actually, it was a few times his, his internet connection wasn't very good. So I mean, unfortunately, there's not much we can do about that. Mm-hmm. But it was good to see that he could actually drop out of the session and then come back in again. It's like just coming in and out of a room, really, and everything is still there and everything is still there working for them. So for me, that was a really exciting experience. And now we just need to take it to thinking, taking it to 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 the to the next uh, next level with this idea of um, dropping rooms where yeah. where we are giving that opportunity to to speakers that they can just drop in and start talking. And now we want to give that opportunity to you guys as well. So so if you have a room with a bunch of speakers talking, we sh- we want to give you the opportunity to actually click on a button and actually be there together with them face to face. This is the closest experience to sort of almost a, a, a physical event that we can give you. And we're working towards that and hopefully we'll be getting there by next Global Con. Fingers crossed. Yeah. So good. Yeah, it was, it was a really exciting experience to see all that coming together. And I think the uh, the possibilities with what we've got now, we've not networking possibilities, dropping rooms. And also we had this idea yesterday, I was speaking to some of the speakers in a, a chat message. What could be a good idea is actually as the session is playing out on demand, i.e. so you get the best quality and the best experience, the speaker could actually be sharing their camera and then answering the questions in a kind of side view so the the, the attendee could see both the actual high res, most amazing screen of what they've recorded, plus the speaker. Yeah. And then when the Sage session's over, we automatically fold in and the speaker becomes front and centre. And if you'd like to, then you could drop in and actually chat with the speaker. So that, I think, would be amazing. Yeah. So, yeah, well done on that, Hugo. It was really good. Yeah. So yeah. So just yeah, keep an eye on that for uh, you guys because yeah, we try to obviously improve the experience as much as we can to to try to to give you as closer as a physical conference experience that you can you can get, which obviously is quite important in our, in, in the current with the current crisis. Yeah. Awesome. So that's what's coming up. So today, what we're looking at, we're looking at Global Con Two Day Four. It's got it's been a long time. It's Day Four, isn't it? So, Helen, do you yeah. want to share your screen and then we'll pop down the agenda just to tell people what amazing sessions are coming up? OK, sharing my screen now. Can you see it, Mark? Yeah, it's come through. Perfect. Right. So what have we got on today? So we're starting off with a couple of sessions all about Microsoft Stream and live events. So the first one is going to be presented by Renee Modery, and he's actually based in Singapore. So for him, that's going to be quite late in the evening, which is why he's on first. Uh, so Renee is joining us first, and that will be followed up by Christina Torok and Lorena Huang Lui from Microsoft, who are going to then explain a bit more about Microsoft 365 live events. Yeah, so I, I think those, that should be a really interesting session for everybody, because obviously because of the crisis we have at the moment, everybody's clambering to Teams, and there's a lot of uh, kind of live events happening. And so Microsoft are going to jump in there and actually show us how to create a live event. And then that's obviously followed straight on by what Helen's going to tell you now, which is our chat jam. Chat jam. So, yeah, chat jam all about live event or virtual events and events that uh, you might have uh, attended recently. So kind of slightly nervous about that one, but also really excited because we're really keen to hear your feedback about, you know, things you like, uh, things you can improve. So, yeah, <laughs> could get one of two ways. That yeah, great it'll be a good one, actually. Yeah, yeah. Is okay. it worth actually telling people what a chat jam is? Because there'll be some new listeners today that will never have heard of it. So chat jam is where in the video player we uh, print print out lots of different um, questions. So the question appears in the video and you answer the questions um, fast and furious in the chat window. So everyone's banging in questions, answers to those questions as the chat jam progresses. So it's, it's really good fun because the... Sometimes keeping up with what's happening is a bit tricky, but you can go back and review all the the comments that people put in later. But it, it's normally great fun, and lots of uh, lots of things happening in chat. Yeah, it's very similar to those that are used to Twitter, and they have a tweet jam, which is a very similar concept. Concept. So yeah, that's uh, should be a good one today. Cool. So what's following. Next? Yeah, following the chat jam, we've then got Kelly Eddinger, who's going to be showing us and explaining all about how to use Office 365 as a learning and development tool. And then we move into what we're calling, well, it's Azure afternoon for us or Azure evening. Um, but those are sessions all about Azure. So, Hugo, you probably know a little bit more about those than I do. So do you want to give a quick overview? 
Yeah, sure. So, yeah, so the next five sessions are going to be um, all about all about Azure. And we start with a with a very good introduction um, uh, from uh, from Chuck. I really like his session. It's it's a, it's a very high level session, so it's not a technical session. We had a lot of requests from people to actually create non technical sessions as well. So this is going to give an overview for those of you that do not know much about what Azure is and what Azure can do for you. Chuck is going to be covering those um, those points, and I especially like the way he, um, he his analogy of Azure as pizza as a service. So I love pizza, so I, I, I yeah. that, that that made me chuck, and that, and and it's uh, it is very 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 good and very good um, um, analogy actually. So keep an eye on that. Um, next next we're going to have um, Tiago Costa talking about the Azure Resource Manager. Um, I found I, I that session is absolutely fantastic, mainly because for people like me, I hate PowerShell, right? Uh, I'm 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 a technical person. I know I should love PowerShell, but I hate it. Okay, and I we actually been using the uh, Azure Resource Manager to deploy most of the the, the infrastructure that you guys see um, seeing here. The chat that you're using has been deployed using Azure Resource Manager. So all of the infrastructure that you're seeing has been mainly the behind the scenes. Certainly, uh, the Azure side of it has been deployed with an Azure Resource Manager. So it's absolutely. Um, a uh, fantastic way to deploy your resources in a declarative way without using PowerShell. So keep an eye on that because Tiago is fantastic doing that. Uh, next, we have um, uh, Nuno Arias, where he's going to be talking about how you extend your your um, your identity from your on-premise to, to the cloud. I mean, this is especially uh, relevant now during the COVID crisis because, well, most of us are working from, from home. We are mobile. We are in, uh, we're not in the office. So how do you access your and how you control the access in a secure way? How you control the access to your, to your corporate assets, your corporate services? So Nunuari is going to be talking about that. It's a very good session as well. Um, after that, we're going to be going back to Tiago and he's going to be talking about Azure certification. So the idea behind this is see, if you've been looking to the previous sessions, you really love Azure, you really love what you've seen and you want to take it a step further now, so um, Tiago is going to be talking about that, how you actually can get certified by Microsoft and actually uh, as an Azure expert. So that is a good session as well. And to finish everything, we're going to have a chat jam where we're going to be wanting to ask you about your experiences so far with Azure, what you think about it, what, where, where it can be improved, where can it be improved and so on. So, so that's a good, a good way to sort of finish um, the, the Azure section for our conference. Brilliant. And then, you know, I think in that last chat, John, we just had an idea. Why don't we give away another prize at that one? And the prize we gave away yesterday was for uh, what we do is we offer an all access pass, which gives you access to the sessions on demand. And also we write up a load of ebooks and then put in some previous content material. And so if you come to this uh, chat, jam at last of the day, what we'll do is we'll pick the best answer. We'll get somebody who's impartial to pick the best answer for us and we'll give you an ultimate bundle, which will give you everything. Uh, pretty much the last five conferences, plus the current All Access Pass. So if you come along, then there's a chance you're going to win a whole lot of goodies there. So uh, I'll put some more in the email, and I'll put some more uh, information in the link around this video. But yes, that's uh, definitely want to see you there. And I think the Azure certifications is really cool, actually, Hugo, because obviously, for those that don't know, we run a massive Facebook group around Azure. And obviously, we're all moderators, so we can see yeah. all the posts that are coming in. Everybody wants to do certifications. And yeah, it's been one of the main the topics of conversation there, isn't it? Yeah, it, and I think you've got, if you're interested in doing a certification, you've got to come to that last but one session and then obviously follow into the chat channel because it'll be brilliant for you. But that's it. One last thing I wanted to say I promised yesterday I'd have GlobalCon 3 live. Unfortunately, I didn't make it in time. I had quite a lot of other stuff to do, like watching sessions on Planner. <laughs> So uh, I'm going to do that by the end of the day. It's uh, Helen's been helping me as well. So hopefully, well, I'm not going to say hopefully, definitely it's going to happen. I'm going to make it live. So that means you'll be able to register for our next big conference, which is going to take place around about September. I think I've got the date here somewhere. September the 8th to the 11th. Uh, and there's going to be a couple of warm-up days. So look out for that uh, because the All Access Pass will also be super early bird. So this is your best chance to get the best package we have at the lowest cost. So apart from that, have you guys got anything else to say? No need to get on with it now. Yeah, we do, yeah. No, that's it. Just hope everyone has a lot of fun today. It's a good yeah, day. Yeah, I'm really excited by it. Awesome. Right, bye then.
Toodles. Cheers, guys. Yeah, bye. bye.